Hey everyone, welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel. And uh, just wanted to give a little bit of basics on the uh, Chinese DSP SDR radio because a lot of people are asking me questions how do I change the tuning steps and how do I, you know, uh, go to upper sideband, lower sideband? How do I? And then there's a lot of stuff that people just don't know what to do. I have to say, these things don't come with a manual and you gotta play around. I would say that the first thing you need to understand is that the buttons that are on the right side of the radio click. And that makes them do things, change modes. Same thing for the volume control. And if you hold it, then with the beep, you get access to upper, lower, sideband, AM, so on. This is how you access the different modes you want to go to. So you press the volume knob and hold it until that shows up. And when you're in the menu, quick way to get out is quick press on the volume knob. It goes away. Simple as that. For the frequency, what you do is you tap on the frequency on the screen. It is a touch screen. You'll notice that the line moves one step to the left. So here I'm tuning 100 kilohertz at a time. If I go one another step, now I'm tuning one megahertz at a time. And then you turn around and you see you can tune from 10 hertz at a time, 100 hertz at a time, and so on. So that's how it works when you want to tune around with these. It's very important. Touch screen is the way to go. So, for example, we're going to tune around the 40 meter band of amateur radio with this. And we're going to go, so I'm going to actually go here. I'm going to go to 100, uh, 100 kilohertz. Move up to 70, 39, no, I'm okay here. And then I'm going to tune it in steps that will be 100 hertz at a time. So, not 1 kilohertz, just 100 hertz at a time. You can see all the signals here at the bottom. When you tune around, make sure that you know that the uh, there's a RF gain. If you're in a high noise, uh, high signal uh, environment, if there are some signals overloading the receiver, you can go into the menu on the bottom left. Go into the uh, little audio here, and you'll see something called RF gain. Mine is at zero right now, so when you click on it, I can actually boost this with the volume knob once again to make it higher so that's one thing you want to do make sure that the RF gain is high enough depending on what you want to do on the receiver so that's well, very important and then of course we're going to start tuning around and checking out so of course uh, 40 meter band is in lower sideband I'm going to go lower sideband here Let's continue tuning around. Remember that you can touch the screen in order to go somewhere on that frequency display. It's going to move immediately to the area you want to go to depending on what you see. So there's a way to, of course, tab the screen. So here I'm at, uh, so here's some radio teletype. Look at the display, you can see where there's some activity. So here, for example, I know that there's some activity. So as you go through. In the menu, I'm going to lower the RF gain a little bit. 
south of Ace Ridge. Uh, right now, uh, I'm about two hours south of Lake Superior. My name is Larry, and again, the call is... When you're listening to a signal... Nine Victor Ocean America. Even though the signal's pretty good, you can activate noise reduction. I was tuning around the 40 meter band. Of course, you can change the precision of your tuning by choosing kilohertz or hertz. Of course, by always tapping the frequency here, which gives you the capability to tune, fine tune if you want. Uh, kind of a nice, as you probably notice, also the audio is extremely beautiful on this radio. Uh, this is definitely something that is nice on this radio, and um, I'm surprised. Now that I have it working and it seems to be working fine with the little modifications, 
I'm actually very happy with uh, even even though it has the basic software, I'm extremely happy with it. Uh, very surprising little device. Sound quality is good. It does overload, so you got to play around with the uh, you got to play around with the RF gain if you want to make sure that it doesn't uh, overload on some of the strong signals. And when you're on bands where you know there's nothing strong around, you can actually pump up that RF gain to get more sensitivity, but. As you see, even with the RF gain down, it's quite sensitive still. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.